You know, what, a, what an amazing, amazing night. What an amazing, amazing mandate from the people of Staten Island and Southern Brooklyn. You know, like many children, when I was young, I always wondered what the meaning of my name was. And if you Google Nicole, it says victory of the people. And that's what tonight is. This is not my victory. It is truly the victory of the people. You know, we ran this race speaking to all corners of this district, and just as we served for the last two years, we were representing the hard-working, tax-paying American citizen in Staten Island and Southern Brooklyn that just wasn't getting a fair shake. We were representing the senior citizen about to retire who looked at their 401k and saw how it was evaporating and perhaps they weren't able to retire or the senior had to return to the workforce just to make ends meet. We were representing the police officer who puts on a uniform every single day. <laughs> to keep this city safe and deserves to have elected officials like the ones standing alongside me who have their back. We were representing the person trying to get by with a second job as an Uber driver, filling up their gas tank, seeing how energy prices have skyrocketed because of the anti-energy policies of our president. We were representing the good people in this district, many are, who are in this room today, who are immigrants who came here to achieve the American dream, people like my parents, Vera and George, who came to this country literally, literally with nothing except for a dream, and they wanted nothing except for an opportunity. They worked hard, they followed the rules, they did everything right, and they never took public assistance from the government. And they, like so many other immigrants that I speak to throughout this district, believe that in order for us to be a safe nation, we must have secure borders. You know, speaking to people at the supermarket the other day, just hearing their concerns, hearing Hearing what, quite frankly, the Democrats were not hearing, that they're struggling right now, that they're concerned about how much heat is going to cost this winter, that they're having difficulty paying for food for their families. That's what this race was always about, about stopping the disastrous policies that we've seen under one party rule at the state level and at the federal level and getting this country back on track. Now, I haven't been able to look at what has occurred around the country, whether we are taking back the House in Republican hands, but I'm very hopeful that we will see a balance come to both our state and our country tonight. because it is so incredibly needed. And the federal level, my colleagues and I, we already, have, we already have legislation. We have solutions ready to go. We have our Border Security for America Act. We have our parents' Bill of Rights because they deserve to know what their children are being taught in the classroom and they deserve to have a right in their children's education. And we have legislation to hold accountable states and cities that refuse to allow their law enforcement to do their job. So I hope we see victories like ours all across the country. But I want to thank you all for your dedication, for your support, for coming out day after day to volunteer because you believed in this movement. You believe 
that America is a wonderful country and that we've just been on the wrong track for the last two years. And so, I, I want to thank all my volunteers. Give it up for you guys. We wouldn't be here without you. My amazing staff, my government staff, led by my great chief of staff, Alex Bolton. My amazing campaign team, led by Aiden Stronggreen. And Isabella, who worked right alongside him this entire time. I want to thank all my colleagues who are standing with me, who fight the fight with me, alongside me, to make our city, our state, and our country a better place. So thank you to every single one of these great fighters who we have in office. And where are my, where are my unions, my labor organizations, our great law enforcement, fire, Sanitation. Well, I know there's another big race happening in the state right now, so they may be busy. But look, we, we, I've ha I was very fortunate to have the endorsement of so many wonderful organizations uh, and good government groups, and I thank them all for uh, putting their reputations on the line and supporting our reelection. So with that said, I thank you all. The work just begins now, right? Because the people that I met each and every day on this trail, they've put faith in me. They put faith in me that I'm going to go back to Washington, hopefully with a majority that gives us the tools. And the first thing we're going to do is fire Nancy Pelosi. And if we can get that done, I believe there will be accountability for the Biden administration. I think America's best days are ahead. We will get this country back on track, and the work starts tomorrow. Thank you, everyone. God bless you, and God bless our great country.